Okay, we're down in the engine room here, and this is where my uh, generator is. And we're going to first start by making sure that the generator strainer is closed. Then we're going to go to the back side over there, and we're going to take out the plug, which is the anti-sacrificial anti plug. Then we're going to remove the impeller down here at the water pump, down in there. And then we're going to break in the hose systems. So we'll be able to plumb the Porta Flush Junior type of kit that I have uh, created. So let me work a little bit in here and get some stuff set up and then get some parts going. Okay, the uh, sacrificial anode is down here. This is along the uh, uh, starboard side hull. So this is a real pain in the you know what to get the uh, plug out. Well, we're gonna get the plug out first. Take the sacrificial anode out and then put the plug in. Now this has pipe threads, so it's don't need any type of uh, um, Teflon tape or anything like that, or sealant when you put it back in because it's normal pipe thread, okay? Might get a little bit of water that comes out of here. I did turn the strainer uh, off. I put this sacrificial anode in, in uh, February. Got a little bit of pressure coming out, a little bit of water. And then you can sort of see what the anode looks like after a couple of months. But we put the, a plug in while we do this with a barnacle buster because the barnacle buster will dissolve the anode. So no sense in having the anode dissolve any more than um, what it uh, is, as well as um, one thing to sort of let you know about here is that I'm doing this while the uh, generator is cool. So you wouldn't want to do this when it's hot. You want to probably wait till the generator is cool. I'm just gonna put the plug in here so that when I test the water cir circuit going around that it's been, um, uh, water's not coming out from there. And uh, I uh, can probably try to insert a photo of what I know the end cap looks like um, with the heat exchanger. Uh, but uh, that's interesting how the heat exchanger, do the anode does <sighs> sacrifice itself over time. That's what it's supposed to do. Okay, so I took this hose off, which is the supply line from the strainer after the fuel cooler into the uh, impeller. I took the impeller out and you can see that that paint there um, is the original paint. So they've never changed the impeller on this uh, boat in, in five years. Certainly the impeller was in good shape with a low number of hours, but I'm going to plumb into here where the uh, water supply for the uh, a barnacle buster solution will go and I'm going to break in off the uh, off the after the uh... okay here we have it hooked up so in a minute I'm gonna fill the bucket with water and I'm gonna use fresh water just to flush and make sure we have no leaks but this is the supply line coming down here and it goes in there right at the uh, above the impeller uh, water pump which was removed and then on uh, the back side it goes through the heat exchanger it goes up through that loop and then there, that's the drain line. Now, after we've got fresh water and we know we have no le leaks, then we'll put it into the system here. We'll take this blue line, which is right now going to... Okay, we've got the system in steady state right now. This is just fresh water that's being pumped around. It's going up from the pump into the supply line, over into the bottom of the uh, water pump housing without an impeller, through the heat exchanger, and then back from the back side of the heat exchanger back into the bucket. You can see a little bit of uh, debris in the bottom. That's just some of the free floating stuff that was in the heat exchanger. I'm gonna now add in the uh, barnacle buster and it's at 1.30 and now we sort of see uh, after a couple hours what this thing will look like. About every 30 minutes I'll take a uh, quick video and let you see what it looks like. Well, I poured the barnacle buster in and immediately the clear water turned this brown color, so this is good. So this tells me that we're starting to clean up all the junk that's in the, that heat exchanger. 
and uh, we're gonna let this run for a while. So uh, time is 1.34 right now. So that's just after four minutes. But we need to run this thing for a couple hours. This is after 55 minutes. So we'll get, let it go for at least another hour. Okay, it's been an hour and a half right now and uh, the solution's looking about the same, but I'm gonna let it go for 30 more minutes so it will have had two hours of running uh, the Barnacle Buster uh, solution through the heat exchanger. Okay, we're coming up on two hours of uh, running the solution through. You know, it doesn't look as dirty as I've seen other people's uh, flush kits, but my generator had about 47 hours on it when um, I've started this process. It was five years old, hadn't been used a lot. So anyway, I'm about ready to uh, turn this off and then I'm gonna flush this out. Uh, it's a water, uh, environmentally safe solution, so uh, in case anybody's wondering how I'm disposing of it. And uh, then I'm gonna fresh water flush the system for about 10 minutes to make sure I get everything out and then I'll uh, start uh, reassembling everything.